Okay, good. Power induction motor. Let's see what happens. Switch. It actually works. We've got a motor power from a wooden trunk. It's nice. The camera looks like it's burning out. Oh. I'm going to get power system contact. Yeah, it's burning the top here. So it's falling out. Plus, it's not right again. I've got to stick it to this coach got a bit stressed out as there's too much current flows for it. I'll put some longer screws in. So the screws are a bit longer now, so that's terminal one. And here we got terminal two. Check in business. Good power induction motor. I'll grab it from a different angle. Same height. Here we go. Interesting, so see how quick that uh, wood deteriorates by uh, surface contact of a screw. I hope the compression light is a bit better this way. Adjust. Okay, that works, that's alright. About 400 volts. Motor once about 2 or 300 volts. And for a high resistance. Different setup now, skinny three, same motor, two terminal screws and I'll put the uh, wire on the other pole so the motor will win the other way. So yeah, let's see how we go. See the motor from the start of the motor. Three could burn out before that. Yeah, the motor's starting to pick up. I think stuck again. Uh, oh yeah, got it. I've got about 100 bits of motor. Ooh, the faster blue, is it? I think we have it. I'm not just about 110 volts from the motor. Oh, the screw burned out shit. Part of the thumb. 